Katie Gardner and I'm very excited to announce that we are here at Razor for a Tech Hotspot segment. I'm here with Kevin Scarpetti, Public Relations Specialist for Razor, and he's here to show me some cool products. So what have we got going here? Okay, so Sandy, we have our MMO set up right, right now going. We have our Naga MMO mouse. Um, the cool thing about this mouse is it actually has 12 side buttons uh, like Sandy has there. So it looks almost like a telephone. Um, it's actually designed to look like a telephone, so your memory will actually know where all those buttons are. So you can bind all your spells, potions, hotkeys, macros, anything you want uh, using our Synapse 2.0 software right onto the mouse itself. So you almost don't need a keyboard with all those, all those buttons when you're playing your favorite MMO game. Tell me about the sensor. Okay, so the Razer Naga 2012 comes with a 3.5G uh, 5600 DPI laser sensor. It's one of the most advanced laser sensors on the market right now. And then this this fancy little number over here? Yeah, so, you know, this mouse has 12 buttons, okay. but if you're looking for even more buttons, we have our Orb Weaver keypad. Um, it's got 20 buttons, as you can see there. So, you, you know, just like the Naga, you can use our Synapse 2.0 software. You can bind all your spells, potions, all that stuff right there. And the great thing about these keys is they actually they actually click, they're mechanical, uh, which gamers absolutely love. They love that tactile feedback that those keys provide. Everything on there, you know, the wrist guard is, is, uh, is customizable, so you can shape that to your hand. Yeah. Um, you know, it glows green. I mean, it's really like if you have the Naga and you have Ooh. the Orb Weaver, you, you barely even need a keyboard because all your stuff is right there, so you don't have to deal with uh, I'm not with going for both of them at once, so I'm just using one or the other, though. You can, you you know, like the really hardcore players will use both of them at once. So Orb Weaver, ladies and gentlemen. So essentially what you guys are seeing here is the new Razer Blade, our super powerful, extreme powerful laptop. But what's great about it is that it has an ultra portable form factor as well. Ooh, there we go. But then as you guys can see right now, she's even holding it up and it's pretty light. It's only weighs 6.6 .6 pounds and it's uh, about 0.88 inches thin. So it's very thin and very powerful. It's running off of a third generation Intel Core i7 processor and it has a NVIDIA GTX uh, 660M graphics card inside. So and what about these? So what you're looking at here is our revolutionary um, Switch Bay user interface. This is something that's not seen in any other laptop, gaming laptop out there. There's two modes to it. There's 10 dynamic adaptive tactile keys which you can pretty much rebind the keys, macros to whatever you want. But another mode that's really good about, like if you're playing Star Citizen, yeah. I mean, you would be able to YouTube it as well, and then you'd be able to uh, basically scroll through, look for a video uh, of, Star, of Star Citizen, and you know maybe someone has a walkthrough or something that they posted up on YouTube. You'd be able to watch that video while still running the game, never even having to leave the game. We're working with you know top developers to develop new types of Switchblade um, applications so it just adds for a more intuitive and fun uh, you know experience to your to your games this is a Razer Hydra it's a PC motion controller uh, right now we're playing portal 2 and one of the great things about the Hydra is it uses uh, some of the most advanced technology it's a it's a magnetic Ooh. controller so it's it's one of the most uh, precise motion controllers on the planet so we're playing portal 2 and it, it really gives you, um, you know, a different type of game, uh, you know, a different type of uh, gameplay. Um, you feel more immersed in the game. I mean, it's, it's, it's really almost, almost like virtual reality, how you can control your hands and, and move around uh, when you're playing your favorite games like Portal. So basically, if I was flying, this Hydra thing would be, like, really sensitive. Yeah, I mean, it, it, would really, it, would really, it could really provide an immersive experience with a game like Star Citizen. Hey guys, so I'm sitting here, I've got the, uh, the Edge by Razer, which is uh, essentially a pretty powerful gaming uh, PC laptop, but in tablet form. And I'm actually running around in Crisis 3, which is pretty relevant to what we're doing because uh, we're on the CryEngine, and actually Crisis 3 runs on the most recent version of the engine, which we are actually just finishing uh, integrating to. Um, so we got some pretty cool new stuff to show you guys, but it's actually pretty awesome how good uh, Crisis 3 is running on, uh, on the edge here. 
it's one thing when I say it to people and they don't believe me, but it's awesome. For no, it, it looks good. I mean, it looks good. I mean, it's kind of up there with uh, even some desktop stuff, which is pretty impressive. In the near future, we'll put Star Citizen on this so we can play it on the, the, the Edge, which would be kind of cool. Yeah, I mean, I think one of the cool things about uh, the Edge uh, gaming tablet you see there is just the versatility of the areas that you can use it in. In this particular iteration, you have um, a gamepad mode, and then if you wanted to, let's say you're playing it on the go, right. and you want to pop it right out of that, and then play it on your home, on your home console dock, on your television, you can, you know, pull it out of the controller. Yeah, I guess we can do that. Just pull yeah, that and here. then you'll so just hit that, comes so, out. Yeah, you pop those two and pieces then I can out. Take it here, put it on here, okay. ah, and I'm getting killed. Yeah, so thank, thanks, yeah. thanks, 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 yeah. good. Sorry. <laughs> so the cool thing about the Edge tablet, especially for you know fans of your game or the genre like, like myself is it's accelerometer based so there's a lot of opportunity for your developers to kind of do whatever they want with it you can put it in the gamepad controller and then you can control the movement of the unit you know, either through the accelerometer or even through the controls so it's kind of a, a choice you know um, yeah it's got nice it's got force feedback yeah, so uh, it feels good no, i think this could actually and i think this is a great environment where you can take your your game and with the console dock you can have it hooked up to your your home TV, if you have like a 60 inch television you want to play a Star Citizen on, you can. So that's really cool to have that huge, like, you know, panoramic experience hooked up to your television um, all through a tablet. But the advantage here, especially for Star Citizen, is there's a full environment. As you can see, you're staring right into the tablet. You could easily do accelerometer based controls. You could, you know, twitch it just a little and the ship could roll. It kind of up to you and the game designers how they'd like to implement content for the Razor Edge. So anyway, this would be cool. I think this could be cool. If I was like flying Star Citizen, looking around. It's too bad there isn't a vehicle. This is the same engine that runs in Star Citizen, which is actually pretty damn cool. But it looks this great on this uh, tablet because uh, I guess it, it really is a PC, but uh, it uh, looks fantastic. So that's bodes well for Star Citizen in the future. I could say this. Our, our Razor community, I think, is one of the best gaming communities out there just we have pulled together just some of the most hardcore passionate gamers i think that are out there and uh it's interesting it's interesting uh, kind of trying to corral and keep a community entertained that is made up of just such hardcore individuals and uh you get them all in one room and you know they uh, they start competing and you know arguing and it's always a good time there's never a dull moment with the razor community like 2.3 million people yeah and on, on Facebook and uh, 163,000 right now on Twitter and then uh, 105,000 subs on uh, YouTube. Speaking of awesome, then you have heard of Star Citizen, right? Oh, absolutely. I was a huge freelancer uh, player back in the day. I yeah. uh, love Wing Commander, so when I saw that Star Citizen was rolling out, I got real excited. Uh, my friends and I actually, um, we, we played freelancer way back when and uh, we used to, you know, we've been waiting for a game like this to come out. Thank you to everybody at Razor for a fun afternoon and for my Hydra, which I am really looking forward to using in the dogfight.